It seems every so often there's a movement in the Black community with the sole purpose to disassociate Black people, primarily African Americans, Afro Caribbeans, and Afro Latinos, from Africa. In 2014, I came up close and personal with a few different sects of Hebrew Israelites. Many of these brothers were preaching that Black people in the Americas, both North and South, were not African, but instead, Hebrew Israelites. I found this very confusing based on my own studies and research, as well as basic common sense. I have since met different sects of Israelites who, although they believe in and practice the Hebrew Israelite doctrine, they also acknowledge that they are indeed of African descent, and Africa is their motherland. But this video isn't about the Israelites. I do have a video about them, which I'll place in the description for you to watch afterwards. Around this time last year, I started getting a lot of brothers and sisters telling me, Angel, we're not Africans or of African descent. We're native to this land. We're aboriginals. We're indigenous to the Americas. We were here first. And we didn't come from Africa. We weren't enslaved and kidnapped in Africa. It was all done here. At first, I kind of ignored it. I've read and studied on this quite in depth and noticed that a lot of the information being spouted is just being misinterpreted or simply speculation and assumptions. There's no actual evidence to truly back these statements to the point that they become unquestionable as tangible evidence. I've even heard brothers and sisters talk about Malcolm X referring to himself as Aboriginal. Although he did, he was using the word Aboriginal as a synonym for Black. But after so many people kept approaching me with these questions, I decided to do further research. And this is what this video is about. I remember being a teenager and reading a few books by Ivan Van Sertimer. They came before Columbus, African Presence in Early Europe, and Early America Revisited. Ivan Van Sertema teaches, based on his studies, that African explorers traveled and migrated across the globe before the Europeans, Arabs, or Asians. Ivan Van Sertema challenged and set the record straight regarding the myth that Christopher Columbus discovered America. But before I get into that, some people believe that black people were in the Americas before anyone else and are the true first inhabitants. But the question has to be, how did they get here and where did they come from? We're aware that human life started in Africa. Black people migrated out of Africa as Homo sapiens thousands of years after the Neanderthals, who left Africa prior. However, the point where the out of Africa theory becomes incorrect is the theory that black Africans lost melanin and their features changed based on climate and food as they discovered new lands, implying that white people are merely albino Africans. We know this to be false because Caucasians were created by Homo sapiens breeding with Neanderthals in the Caucasus regions outside of Africa thus creating a hybrid which would eventually be known as the European, the Caucasian, the white man. Asians and Australasians were created in a similar way, but with the introduction of Denisovan DNA as well as some Neanderthal DNA. If you want more details on the out of Africa theory and the creation of Caucasians, there's also a video in the description called How the Caucasian Race Was Created. So check it out. So long story short. Based on common sense, anthropology, and history, if black people were in Americas first, then of course the Native Americans had to have traveled from Africa, which is taught by many scholars. Therefore, if you believe that you are a Native American or an Aboriginal American, aka a black American, then you are in fact African because you came from Africa. Seems so simple and basic, right? But there are some people that don't believe in the out of Africa theory at all, not one iota. And they believe we didn't migrate from Africa to the Americas, but instead, we were already here. This is highly incorrect, as there is no evidence to corroborate this. All black life definitely started in Africa. We were the first humans, and we created all varying degrees of mankind. We traveled the globe first and inhabited many places. For example, you had Papua New Guineans who looked just like African people or black people, same features, same type of woolly hair, but they're indigenous to Papua New Guinea. And they're not African, right? Wrong. They also migrated out of Africa thousands of years ago. Now let's discuss the Native Americans as the commonly depicted Native Americans throughout history, the ones with red skin, being in the Americas as the first inhabitants, and how they got to the Americas. Anthropology states that two main groups of what we now call the Native Americans traveled out of Asia 23,000 years ago. They believe the groups splintered off from an East Asian population. The group from Northeast Asia crossed the Bering Land Bridge, known as the Bering Strait, between Northeast Asia and Alaska, eventually making their way to the rest of the Americas. They also state that 10,000 years later, or about 13,000 years ago, Native Americans started to split into different groups,
creating different tribes across North and South America. However, anthropologists divided the migration groups into two. One is the first Americans being Northeast Asian, and another they identify as population Y, which carried ancestry more closely related to indigenous Australians. That's your aboriginals with dark skin and straight to wavy hair from Australia. This explains why some Native Americans are shown in images with very dark skin and straight hair. These are descendants of the Australian aboriginals. These aboriginals would have also been victims of slavery. So if you believe that you are an American aboriginal or descendant, you're implying that you are a descendant of the Australian aboriginals who migrated into the Americas along with the Northeast Asians. You may have seen images of dark-skinned Native Americans and also Australian aboriginals. Native Americans today can trace their ancestry to Eurasian migrants with Australasian ancestry, which adds tangible evidence and proof to the research and studies. So this would of course mean that there would have been darker-skinned Native Americans as well as lighter-skinned Native Americans based on these two groups. What I will say, if you believe you are an aboriginal of the Americas, take a DNA test. It will show if you have Australasian or Eurasian ancestry as well as Native American ancestry. And if it comes back instead with countries from Africa, well, self-hate is a hell of a drug. But self-love is an incredible cure. Also, the oldest bones and artifacts correlate with this information. Now, how do African people or black people fit into this migration? Are the so-called African Americans descendants of the dark-skinned, straight-haired Australian aboriginals? No. As I stated, Australian aboriginals were created by Homo sapien and Denisovan DNA, as well as some Neanderthal DNA, hence why they look different to the black Papua New Guineans, who still look like African people. The teachings that Africans came before Columbus was not based on mass migration of huge numbers of African people to the Americas before these Eurasians and Australasian peoples. It was after this migration, but before Columbus discovered the Americas and the natives. Now I say discover, but he didn't discover America. Firstly, you can't discover a people in a continent that was already here, had their own culture and civilization. There's overwhelming evidence that proves that African people regularly sailed across the Atlantic to the Americas thousands of years before Columbus. Ancient civilizations from Egypt and West African countries traveled to the Americas teaching the natives how to build a civilization. They brought with them the art of pyramid building, political systems, and religious practices, as well as mathematics, writing, and a sophisticated calendar. And if you don't believe me, well, maybe you'll believe a white man. Christopher Columbus himself wrote in his journal, Black-skinned people had come from the southeast in boats, trading in gold-tipped spears. This was documented in 1920 by renowned American historian and linguist Leo Weiner of Harvard University in his book Africa and the Discovery of America. One of the first documented instances of African sailing and settling in the Americas were black Egyptians led by King Ramses III during the 19th dynasty in 1292 BC. In 1311 AD, another major wave of African exploration to the New World was led by King Abu Bakari II, the ruler of the 14th century Mali Empire, which was larger than the Roman Empire. The king sent out 200 ships of men and 200 ships of trade material, crops, animals, cloth, and African knowledge of astronomy, religion, and art. Travel in the seas and oceans was not a European invention, but in fact was started by the African people. In the early 1940s, archaeologists uncovered a civilization known as the Olmecs of 1200 BC, which predated any other advanced civilization in the Americas the Olmec civilization, which was of African origin and dominated by Africans. This was the first significant civilization in the Americas. Olmecs are known for the giant carved heads found in central Mexico that have unmistakable African Negroid features. Historian Professor Ivan Van Sertema explains how Olmecs were the first Mesoamerican civilization to use a written language, sophisticated astronomy, arts, and mathematics, and they built the first cities in Mexico all of which greatly influenced the Mayans and other Native American civilizations. Africans played an integral role in the Olmec Empire's rise, and that African influence was happening during the same period as the ancient Black Egyptian civilization. Need more evidence? Easy. They found narcotics, cocaine, and nicotine native to America inside ancient Egyptian mummies. 
These substances are only derived from American plants. This could only happen by trade between Africa and America. Need more? They found statues of animals like lions, elephants, and gorillas, which are not found in the Americas, but in Africa, in Native American civilization. The Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas all worship black gods. They have paintings and surviving artwork that show dark-skinned gods with Negro features with woolly hair. But one of the major things is American pyramids. Pyramid construction is highly specialized. Ancient Egyptians started out with the step pyramids and eventually progressed to the smooth pyramids you see in Giza. But in La Venta, Mexico, the Almecs made a fully finished pyramid. The Olmecian and Egyptian periods were both placed on the same north-south axis and had the same construction methods. Both the pyramids in America and Africa served the same dual purpose, tombs and temples. What I'm telling you is only a tiny fraction of the similarities. The Olmecs created and carved the heads of the African explorers who came from Africa and taught them about religion, mathematics, astronomy, civilization, and so much more to forever praise them and show gratitude for the gifts Africa gave to the Americas. Clearly, Africans helped civilize America way before Europeans even knew America existed and way before Europeans claimed to have civilized Africa. So now you know the African people definitely discovered the Americas before the Europeans. You know they civilized the Native Americans. You know there was two waves of Native American migrations. People from Northeast Asia, the lighter skin group, and Australasian Aborigines, the darker skin group. Even if you believe your ancestors were already here before anyone else, you still had to come from Africa. They still had to migrate from Africa. Therefore, you're African. But take a DNA test and see for yourself. Africa built the world. Don't be ashamed of being a descendant of Africa. There will be two videos in my description, one about Hebrew Israelites and one about how the Caucasian race was created. Like I said, check it out. Don't be fooled by misinformation and propaganda. We are African. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey, man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new, never-before-seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. ikyg.com is a Black-owned, Black-ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.